recording. This is the Chinguacuchi Loop. Oh. Uh, north of uh, Sportsman's Lodge. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, we're coming. Who's behind you, Hans? Uh, BMW 1250, I think. Oh, okay. He's the guy with the auxiliary lights, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, give her nails. <laughs> I can get some good speed out of this thing in first gear. I'm sure you can. <coughs> well, I'm not going to get too close to you. You're an animal. <laughs> Shooting rocks out the back. Oh, sorry. That's hard on your tires too, buddy. Yeah. That's how you break, you know, chunks off. Yeah. It's fun though. <laughs> <laughs> Driving north, because we eventually we have to start heading south. Oh, do we? Southwest, yes. We do. Surprise, we're still driving north. We haven't gone far. I'm still showing 341 kilometers to destination. It was 384 when we started, so we've only gone like... 83 or 43 kilometers. I believe it. Shit. And it's noon. I know. Yeah, we lost at least an hour back there. Oh, yeah. Maybe an hour and a half. Yeah. When we had to pull Mike's wheel to pull that jacket out of there. Good Lord.
Nice little lake here. Look at that. Beaver lake. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jesus. When in doubt, power out. Oh, where you in doubt there? <laughs> Where's Mr. BMW? Oh, here's a nice section. I think I'm going to the left, brother. Oh, absolutely. Go left. Oh, that wasn't that tough. I didn't even stand. You can go left or right, this is easy. Rocks are all in the middle. Man, my hands, I got the death grip on. Yeah, well, now that you realize it, loosen up. Loosen it up, loosen it up, loosen it up. Ride loose. No death grip. I think Dave must have got quite far up the trail before he realized we weren't there, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Because he was gone a long time before he came back. Yeah, he was. <coughs> He's a good rider. Yeah, Dave is a very good rider. Him and that other guy that's a, a sweep. What's yeah. his name? I think Rick. Is it Rick? Yeah. Yeah, the sweep is an excellent rider. That's a nice bike he has, too. That yeah. Guy. I like that graphics kit on that thing. Yeah, it looks good, eh? Yeah. He put that on himself. Yeah. right behind you. Yes. These tires are slippery in the mud, man. They're, you know, any tire is slippery in the mud, yeah, but you've got that solid center strip. Yeah. Um, other than a full knobby, they're slippery in the mud. Yeah. Even like a Kenda big block with the big blocks, slippery in the mud. Oh, is it? Yeah. And I don't like those Kenda big blocks. People buy them because they're cheap. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, they allow way too much side slip. Oh because the blocks are not staggered. Oh. So, not, not, a, not a tire I would put on. I like to have a staggered block. Just means you gotta give her a little more beams if you do wanna hang the back end out. Yeah. But, with the bikes that we ride, we've got more than enough power to hang that rear end out with the yeah. throttle whenever you want, staggered yep. or yep. not. But yep. I don't like the back end to sketch out sideways on me. No. And this, they will do that.
Are you getting tired? Uh, no, I'm good. My knee is, uh, my left knee is hurting. I took Advil and a Tylenol before we left. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it's starting to hurt. Watch it, there's a rock there on your left. I saw it, yeah. Good, good. Oh, I see a bunch of people. Looks like they're turning. This is our, yeah, we go left here according to the GPS. This is as far north as we go then. Now it's southwest. Huh? Do you need a break after that? Maybe a minute so I can have some water. Yeah, that was good. You haven't been here that long, no?